Hey guys, it's Landon Rivers. Today I want to show you something a little bit special for the game Enclave. I want to show you guys how to get to the sound test for the game. That's showing you um, a little window where you can play all the sounds in the game. The sound effects, the character lines, the character voices during cutscenes, the music, and even a bunch of unused lines in the game, which is pretty fun. I'm going to show you how to do this all from start to finish and all the steps that I have involved. So let's take a, a, um, a look first at how I'm getting myself organized. In one of my hard drives, I've created a folder named Ogier. O -G, it's spelled O-G-I-E-R. That's the name of the uh, source development kit, the engine that uh, Enclave levels were created in. And I have five files downloaded, which I, I will show you how to get to, and I'll put links for them in the description as well. You really only need, need four of those. But while we do this, I'm actually gonna take my Enclave folder, which has my game in it. And so you have to have the game first, of course. Uh, in Steam, I go to my Enclave folder under my Steam library, Steam apps, common, and copy and I'm gonna paste it into here and so while it is doing that oh my god that was really quick <laughs> but anyway well it I was saying gonna say while it was doing that let me show you uh, the website where we can download all these files but hey that is the enclave folder already in here right now hmm that's something else okay so let's go to uh, I'm just on my web browser right now and this is the site moddb.com. And this has a bunch of modification files for Enclave. There's a lot you can get into. We're seeing bunches of, of, of things involved, but there are only four files that we really care about. That is the files for the Ogear tool set. We care about Ogear version 101, 102, and the Enclave GDK version 103. This Ogear 103, it says in the description right here, recommended that you use 101 and 102 for Enclave. Okay, I will. <laughs> and then Enclave GDK version 103, that gives you actually the, the lists and everything that Ogear recognizes for the game to, to link everything together. And um, then, Apparently, the sound browser, as as it was, wasn't perfect, and so there's a little fix that we needed to install. So if you just like click on 101, 102, 103, fix, or whatever, put them into their own um, windows and just download them, we can just go through that right now. We'll get to Ogear version 101. We will download it. It gets a little pop-up window right there. Download Ogear install 101.exe. Then 102, same thing. We go to download now, download Ogier install 102.exe. Then we get the Enclave GDK. That's a game development kit, 103.exe. Download that, okay. Then we get to the Enclave sound browser fix. This is a zip file that really gives you everything you need to, to fix the sound browser um, because it's, it's kind of broken as is. So we download that and then you have that zip file. This optional one right here, just like if you wanted to delve a little bit more into this tool afterwards, there is a Enclave examples and documentation thing, and you can download a PDF for that um, as well and add that to your folder. So here we have all the files involved. Let's go through and just uh, install them as we need them. So Ogear install 101.exe. Let's go through that and my window's gonna disappear as I go to accept it. We get to setup, I agree. Make sure it's going to this Ogear folder. It is actually going to make a new Ogear folder inside the Ogear folder, but that's, you know, it's okay, whatever. Click on next, uh, click on install. It's all Starbury Studios, yeah, that is okay. Cool, completed, done. Now we go to ogear install 102.exe. Click yes, I agree, same thing. Next, install, install. And then finally we have the ogear GDK for Enclave 103. We want to install this 
to our Enclave folder. You see it's like trying to go to the Enclave folder already. But we need to be careful because if we put this onto our folder where we're actually playing the game, it might, uh, it might introduce some files that the actual running game doesn't appreciate, I'll say. <laughs> and they will crash your game even more. <laughs> so um, navigate to the Ogear file that you have or the Ogear folder that you have and then into the Enclave folder that you copied earlier. So D Ogear Enclave for me, click next, install and completed, we're good to go. Last thing that we need to do is put the sound browser fixes in place. So here is a zip file. Let me turn off my dang phone. Here is a zip file. I'm going to open it up. Let me open it up in a new window. And this has six files. One of them is a readme. The readme gives you uh, what to do for the installation. And this is exactly why you make a, a copy of your Enclave game. Create a directory called waves in this folder if one does not already exist. Um, note that launching Enclave with these XWC files will cause the game to crash. So again, make a copy of your game. Uh, so let's navigate to that folder that we need to go to, SBZ1. This is a very important folder. This is actually what we're going to be using in Ogear um, to navigate to the sound browser. So SBZ1. And it says we need to create a folder called Waves. And I'm going to capitalize it just like they have, capital W-A-V-E-S. Okay, cool. There's Waves. And now it says you copy any or all of the files over. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to copy every one of these into the Waves folder. Everything in the zip, sure. And that should take care of it just fine. Okay. That is everything that we need to do to install. Let's go back to that root Ogear folder. And now we're gonna go into Ogear. So once again, this is a tool set used by the game Enclave. And then we have the Enclave game development kit on top of the tool sets to be able to construct maps and use the assets of Enclave. And inside of that is the sound browser, which is what we're trying to get to. So open up ogear.exe inside the ogear install folder that you have. It's got a picture of like a little goblin or ogre kind of guy. And this will open up the select project window right here. We want to, and it recognizes me from before, so you should only have like one thing showing. We want to navigate to our Enclave folder inside the Ogear folder. And then we go to the SBZ1 folder, which has a lot of model and registry stuff, a lot of modding stuff in here. At the very bottom is the file p3.xrg. XRG files are project registry files. So we want to open that, and here it is on the list. Click open, and we get started in Ogear. And I'm gonna drag this over here a little bit so you can see everything involved and nothing gets cropped out. We got a gray screen. There's nothing on it. And there is nothing here that could possibly even take us to the sound browser. So how do we get there? Well, here's what we have to do. We basically have to create a new map and we have to create an object because you would really only get to the sound browser when you need to put a sound on something. So we're gonna do that. We're just gonna make an object and uh, assign it a class that you can put a sound on. And when we go to put a sound on that object, then surprise, we're at the sound test for Enclave, cool. So let's go to make a new map. And we get this little interface here. It's got like a top, bottom, left, right, and then a rendered view um, with everything that we need. So let's create a, a little object that we can do anything with. I've just got my mouse anywhere. I'm gonna press the number one. There's number one on your keyboard. And um, so we see it just kind of makes a cube. And this is, <laughs> this is basically a starting point for all objects in Enclave. We got this cube right here that can be manipulated and you can place textures on top of. Uh, you can have it do stuff during scripted events. 
tons of fun stuff. But it is assigned the class brush right here. So we click on the little folder to change its class to something that you can assign a sound to. Because right now we see all this over here, it has nothing to do with sound. So easiest one I can give you that I know of from a tutorial that was in that PDF. On the classes list right here, and I actually have it on my recents, don't worry about that. Classes list right here. And you should see all of this stuff if you installed the GDK properly into your copied Enclave folder. If you did not install the GDK, you would not be seeing this stuff. We go to on and we go to go to the engine one, drop down engine. Under engine, we go to path. And then we click change at the top right here. So now that has changed this little box here to a path or whatever. It's like <laughs> it's just like the direction that an NPC would follow, I think. Like we see NPCs like patrolling in a certain way. It might be something related to that. But for some reason, you can put a sound to it. We see we have a lot more options down here. And right here we have timed sound. That's cool. And this folder right here, you click it and that opens up the sound browser. I'm sorry, it's a little bit small, but this is the sound browser. This is everything that is a sound in the game Enclave. Your sound effects, your character voices, your music, everything. So um, to use it, if we want to, you just double click, excuse me, on an entry and it will play it. You also have the play button down here and it'll play it just as well. So um, just to show you a few folders of interest and what they mean, um, if you wanted to, for instance, s listen to a voice clip during one of one of the light levels, we'll go to these folders LS and then we have one, two, three, four, 79, 12, 15. LS means the light side, and then the numbers are the levels. So if we go to LS1, uh, we go to, and, and we just double click on this first one. So they imprison their own too, I see. Here we go. <laughs> the sound you are hearing is the sound. And so it's it just had to play another sound to cut that off. But yeah, that's it. That's like the raw sound. It's got no sound effects over it. It's 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 great. It's perfect. And so um, I guess what I was gonna do is is, is like open up you uh, open up Oda ugh, Audacity and then um, like record it myself. I've got a way to record my stereo mix and. Um, then I could like repurpose that as an MP3 and use it for for something, um, but yeah, this is this is it. So that's light side, and then if we want to look at the dark side stuff, they have a very similar cadence. They have DS. They've got 12, 13, a six. Um, there's actually not many in the beginning because those are actually through separate cutscenes, not actually in the level. They don't say anything during the level, but. Um, they have CSD01, that's Cutscene Dark 01. Cutscene Dark 02. Uh, you have Cutscene Light 01, Cutscene Light 02. This is like when they're in Selenheim and talking. Like when Queen- So you are Zale. Yeah, Queen, Queen I Island you were dead is- long since. Yep, Queen is talking to Zale during that one. Um, for music, for music, you have a folder called Dark, it has four songs in it, and it has the A side, and it has the B side of the exact same um, length. You click on the A of two right here. You know, we recognize that. We click on the B. And we can tell that Hey, that's like it's it's the regular version and the combat version. And so that's what's like happening in the game is it's switching between this A and this B at the exact same time signature, whether time time length, 
whatever, uh, based on how far you are or, or whether you are in combat or not. Um, likewise, there is a light folder down here that has the light songs. And so that's like, there we go. That's like deserted temple and then deserted temple during combat, which is neat. Um, there's some folders that are called like menu right here. Those are burned into my mind forever, <laughs> those sounds. Um, and then if you want to get to something like a, a character, we have AI here. There's, there's a few ways that we can get to it. You have AI and this has like the, not the player characters, but like NPC that you might find around. Hey, hey you. <laughs> and so those are the half, you know, halfling and how she laughs at you when you go into combat. Hey, ho, judge! Yeah, there you go. Um, so there's there's all those. Um, but let me show you something uh, a little, oh, there's judge! also. Judge! I didn't tell you to do that, but all right. Uh, did I just discover a bug? Judge! I did. Hey, that's funny. Okay. Uh, I clicked on the, the, the collapse twice and that played the last sound. Okay, if you wanted to view some of the lines which were never used in the game, we will go to the gen folder, which I believe is like generic or general. And we see a bunch of files right here for characters that really didn't speak too much um, or didn't have too many lines. But like, for instance, Loris, Marcus's brother, he says uh, he has two sound bites, one at the beginning, of Ark Moore and one at the begin at the end of Mark Moore. That's it. But in here Yes, no. Hmm. My pleasure. Good. Right. Hey, quit it. So he's he's got extra lines that uh were just never used. Same for, for Marcus here. We're under attack. Yes. My pleasure. You will never get me. Well that one was used, I know Help. that. Come with me. I'll follow you. No, you won't. You follow Marcus. <laughs> That's the way it works. Stuff from Mordessa. You will never get now you must die. Well, move it. Move. Yeah, she doesn't say that. Good. Prepare to die. Kill them now. Well? Let's see. What else do we have? There's, there's another folder. Yeah, GE. And this has everything for all the classes. I'll wait here. Follow me. I think I can help you. They're attacking us. Yeah, this is just like stuff that the assassin has never said. Excellent. That they're maybe wanting to use. I mean your debt. Maybe wanting to use at some point uh, for another level. Um, but, yeah. Ah, another brave warrior. You have access to it now. You have access to everything. Um, so have fun playing around with this and maybe repurposing some of the sounds. Um, let me see if I could find anything else. There's land. I guess those are just footsteps or something. Uh, a lot of it's just poking around. This M1 to M6, these are generic male characters. Oh. <sighs> yeah, it's just generic male characters. You can, you can tell by you know the death sounds. You've heard all those before. Um, and then the, likewise, there are, there's a folder called F and these are the generic female characters. <laughs> Just like that. Um, and you can play around with those. Let's see. What's this? I haven't been in this event folder yet. What's that about? Okay, yeah, that's our uh, that's your resurrection sounds right there. That's kind of interesting. Um, but anyway, there we are. Feel free to, to poke around at this point. Find some stuff that might interest you and that you might want to repurpose. Um, you have access to it now. That is how you get to the sound test for Enclave. And there's other fun things you can do in here. You can like actually look at some of the uh, textures. Let's see if it actually cooperates with me this time. I press K and then enter. No, it's not working. But uh, yeah, there's ways to actually like, look at some of the textures in their in their totality. 
Um, and that's, that's kind of fun, but this tool actually doesn't work very well for me. You see, it's kind of spazzing out. And so I am really only using this for the sound test and that's it. But, uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was informative and I hope walking through it from the start to the finish showed you everything that you need. And that is not intimidating at all. It is pretty easy. Uh, that's all there is to it. Have a fantastic weekend. And you know what? Take Take Monday off. Don't go into work on Monday. Landon is giving you the day off on Monday. Don't go to work. <laughs>